A message from Professor Honeycutt to the Utram High Council. My dear friends, by the time you receive this, I shall be gone. This morning, a subspace viewing device planted on the Earth alerted me to the planet's imminent fate. As you know, both the Triceratons and the Federation want the plans for my teleportal device so that they may use it to further their war of annihilation against each other. They will destroy the Earth in their hunt for me. I have calculated and recalculated the probabilities, and there is only one sure solution. I must erase all information pertaining to the teleportal and then surrender myself to the enemy. I know the risks are high, and there is a 95.6% certainty that I will not return. But I beseech you, do not try to stop me. For it is as they say, greater love has no robot than this, that he lay down his ram for his friends. Triceratons are leaving. We did it! You know, saving the human race gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling deep down in my shell. Reports are coming in from all across the world. The Triceratons are pulling out. It is over. Earth has been spared. And while authorities still aren't sure why the Triceratons came, or what it was exactly that they were after, one thing is for sure, it's good to be alive. Wow. Don, the last thing we need right now is to be the center of attention. Leo, we're flying an 80-ton Imperial space cruiser down Fifth Avenue. It's a little hard to keep it on the down low. This is the Mikey party line. What up? Michelangelo? Professor Honeycutt? No way. Hang on. I'll put you on speaker. We were just talking about you. Your ears must be burning. Not so. My ears are a steel alloy. It would have to be over 25,000 degrees Fahrenheit for combustion to occur. Um, that's not exactly what I meant. Professor, your interstellar signal is so clear. It sounds like you're only a mile away. Oh, no, not a mile away. I'm at least 2.1 miles away, at the site of the TCRI building. Here? On Earth? Oh, boy. We'll be right there, Professor. Don't move. Donnie, we need to hide this thing pronto. again. I wish we could say the same, but the Triceratons are here looking for you. I know. That is why I am here, to give myself up. I have just broadcast a message to the Triceratons prime leader. You what? Are you crazy? Activate null field. Prepare engines for full ion burn. Departure countdown initiated. Sir. Incoming message marked urgent. Sir, it's the Fugitoid. What? By the horn of Hagalir? Stop everything! Put it on screen! Prime Leader San Ramon, you have hunted me across galaxies and shown no mercy to those who stood in your way. This cannot continue. I am here on Earth to surrender myself to you and spare countless billions of lives. Pinpoint that transmission! Scramble all fighters! I want our troops down there immediately! Now, bring me that robot's metal hide. <laughs> Professor, are you crazy? Do you know what the Triceratons will do to you? And what they'll do with your knowledge of Utram technology? 
Never fear, friends. I've already wiped my memory clean of any vital information. But, Professor, they'll take you apart finding that out. I'm rather hoping they do. I have a little surprise for them. Great. Just what we need. The Professor's off his shell. We'll think of something. Donnie, how long till the Triceratons get here? Oh, I'd say roughly about two seconds. <laughs> another plan and please stop giving them our location oh but i'm not they found us unaided but how uh well that actually may be kind of my fault i sort of showed the triceratons how to scan for the professor's fugitoid body's positronic energy signature it was the only way to convince them that the professor wasn't on earth well he's on earth now don just how accurate is this scan Miles, city blocks, inches. The positronic energy readings grow stronger this way. Hello, Triceratons! Over here! Hello there! Greetings, Professor Honeycutt. We've been looking for you for some time. I'm glad you found me. It saved me quite a walk. Get him! The Prime Leader will be quite pleased indeed. <laughs> Professor, next time we say hide. Hide! Ceasefire! We must capture the Professor unharmed! Follow the signal! Don't let them escape! Move out! Professor, but you cannot hide. You're going the wrong way. The Triceratons are back there. Oh, really? This is too much. The Triceratons, help! I'm over here! Shut up! We've got to keep moving. The Triceratons won't stop for a second. My friends, you must let me implement my plan. I cannot allow the Triceratons' rampage to continue because of me. I have made up my mind, and you can't stop me. Triceratons, come get me! Yoo-hoo! We've got to stop him for his own good. Take me to your prime leader! Come Don, get it. do Arrest something! Me, please, I insist! Um... That was kind of extreme. I panicked. Don, is there any way to turn off the signal the Triceratons are tracking? Well, I could try to mask it somehow, but it's gonna take time. And maybe the Professor can give us a hand. Donatello, why are you looking at me like that? Arm your weapons! 
The signal is strongest here. He should be right. What? Four signals? I don't understand. Divide into units. Follow all four signals. Take the robot alive! And destroy anyone who gets in your way! Sorry, Sensei. I'm kinda in a hurry. Ah! There it is! I'm to Papa, baby! Michelangelo, I demand an explanation. No can do, Master Splinter. If I don't get out of here, and fast, you're gonna have some very rude house guests. I'll explain later, I promise! Michelangelo! Come back here! Where are your brothers? You must... Professor, we gotta fly! Alright, now that we got us some wheels, hold on tight, Professor! Coast looks clear. Come on, Professor, we have to keep moving. Donatello, this doesn't feel right. Not only am I spread all over town, but I'm still no closer to achieving my goal. Your plan is too risky. We can't just let them have you. We have to hide your signal. The guys are gonna keep the heat off us as long as they can. But if you don't help us, the Triceratons will catch them and obliterate them. I, I don't want to see you or your brothers hurt. <sighs> I will help you. Greetings, Donatello. Always a pleasure to see you in our humble habitation. Professor! Yes? No, not you. The other professor. What you got there? Uh, it's a talking football. Cool. Yup. Listen, Professor, is that package I left still here? Absolutely. A promise made is a debt unpaid. I let none lay a hand on it. Thanks, Professor. Gotta run! Very nice to meet you! Ah, the younger generation, always on the move. I have a theory on that. <sighs> Hopefully this helicopter my brothers and I borrowed from the Shredder will throw the Triceratons off our track. They'll be looking for us on the ground. Or... I don't know how you managed to confuse our scanners, but you will not live long enough to explain. I'll try and shake him while you work out a way to disguise that signal of yours. Right here. Oh, oh, down, 10,000 to go. Come on, Professor! Huh. 
On to Bishop One. Target in sight. Requesting permission to fire, sir. Permission granted. Successful. Mutant has robot on board. Sighting confirmed. 12th Quadrant. Message received, Sergeant. Continue observation. We have confirmation. The turtle creatures are in possession of the Fugitoid, and the Triceratons are closing in. But countermeasures are in place. Rest assured, my friend. Both of us will get what we're after. You have my personal guarantee. Donatello, I'm ready! I've finished creating an inverted sine wave that will nullify the signal and make me invisible to tracking! Perfect! Now, all we have to do is broadcast it! Hang on! Leo, we've worked out a way to cloak the professor's signal! Get to the rendezvous, stat! I'll do my best! Whoa! But that might not be good enough. No! Can't we just be friends? So much for splitting up. It's kind of hard to shake a bunch of flying dinosaurs when they can track your every move. I sure hope there's room for three on that thing. I mean, two and a half. Time to broadcast some serious masking interface. Download interface The signal grows stronger. They're close. Satellites transmitting now. What? It's good to have you back in one piece, Professor. Yes, I agree. But now we must face reality. If you don't have an alternative plan, I really must surrender myself to the Triceratons. Give us time. We'll think of something, Professor. Freeze! We have you surrounded! Drop your weapons and place your hands in the air, or we will open! 